Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you an advanced tip for SOLIDWORKS, but it's not all. I want you to give me and other fellow students who are watching this video also a valuable tip in SOLIDWORKS, okay? And to make you motivated and make it more enticing, I have reached out to a certain company, asked them to support me, and they did say yes. So I have five valuable products that I know you will appreciate, and I will be giving it to the top five tips in the comment section below this SOLIDWORKS. So these tips should be very unique, should not be something that everybody knows make sure it's the best tip that you have and i will choose five of them and i will announce the winners in a short video after i pick the best one okay what those products are what that company is that i know you will love will remain a mystery until i will teach you my solidworks tip so let's go Okay, so the tip I have here is for configurations. Again, it's not for beginners. It's upper intermediate. You have to be CSWA or above. Or if you're preparing for the CSWA exam, learn this trick. It's going to help you a lot in the official exam. I have downloaded a component from GrabCAD and I have made some changes to it. I have added two configurations to it. So this is the normal configuration. It has six edges. This is the basic configuration. I have added two. One would be this with five instead of six. And the other one, which is a subcategory of five, is with five only longer. So I've called it five head long. So it becomes longer, right? So we have three iterations here, six, five, and five long. And some features, as you see here on the design tree, are suppressed in the six head configuration. When we go to five, some other will be suppressed like this one, and some others will be unsuppressed. If you don't know, configurations do not allow for a feature in the design tree to be deleted completely. If you delete one feature, it will be deleted from all the configurations that you have. So you don't want this. You want specific features to be unsuppressed, that is active for some specific configurations, and some features on the design tree to be suppressed, that is inactive for some configurations. I hope it was not confusing. So let's just take a look at here. Before I continue, we have circular pattern two suppressed and the last four features on the design tree also suppressed for the five head configuration if i go to six head we would see that the circular pattern two is unsuppressed it's active again circular pattern three is suppressed do you see what i'm saying so how do we control this the best way possible without interfering with all the other configurations because in the cswa exam you will be asked to suppress some features and unsuppress some doing so could create a lot of issues for the configurations that you don't want to change so the best way would be to right click on one feature that you want and just click on configure feature then it would give you this table my recommendation is to right click on the feature that you do want to suppress First. At this point, I can just double click on any feature that I want. And every time I double click on a feature, it will be added as a column here. And I will see in the rows, all the configurations that I have already created. I have five head, five long and six. And as you can see, circular pattern two, which is this one is check suppress for five head and is unchecked for the six head. So here I can check and uncheck each feature that I have selected here for all the features in one view. Doing so will give you more control on the configurations that you have without messing with the other configurations that you don't want to change. You only suppress that feature on the configuration that you would want. By the way, if you suppress a parent feature like this one, the boss, which is this one all the child features will be suppressed with it they have no choice so a parent feature is a feature that uh, exists early on in the design tree and a child feature is the features that are built on top of that so for example if you use extrude boss to create a cube and then you use fillet which is another feature to round its edges that boss is the parent feature and that fillet is the child feature if i suppress the boss which eliminates the cube there is no cube for you to round its edges with the fillet so the fillet has no choice but to be suppressed but the reverse is not true you could suppress the fillet which suppresses the round edges but the cube can still remain so that was the tip okay again it was not for beginners if it goes above your head don't worry it's a little bit further down the road than where you are you could get here just practice or bear with me to the end of this video and i will show you the best way you can master solidworks and best way all right, it's time to show you the prize for the winners. One through five. There are no winners yet at this point, but the prizes are fixed. So let's just see what we have here and what that company is. The best knife maker in the... No, that's not the sponsor. Wait. This is heavy. 
Let me just open it. Look at this. Hoo ha! That's what Al Pacino says. Hoo ha! So, the sponsor of the video who has accepted to ship these products to the top five people that I choose has decided to send me five products. We have. Oh, let me just show you this last. This is the price for the first winner. I'm gonna start from number five. Okay, the price for the fifth best SolidWorks tip is a base mouse compact form 3D connection, which is amazing. And if you don't know how it works, you better go on my channel and you will find a video that I have done reviewing these products products. I absolutely love it. This will be your price. For the fourth place, we have a CAD Mouse Pro, which I absolutely love and adore, and I have been using ever since I put my hand on it. This is the best mouse out there, period, and it has nothing to do with the cat. I just use it on a daily basis, and it has a mid-mouse button. Yeah, I've been using this for a very long time. This is your prize, CAD Mouse Pro. This comes with it, of course. Okay, number three, we have, ta-da, we have a keyboard pro with numpad. The numpad is separate, so you can put it on, on the other side of your hand, so you can just, you know, place it on the right or the left side of your keyboard. It's amazing. It is reserved for the third place. It's getting more interesting. For the second place, our silver medalist, we have a Space Mouse Pro Wireless. Okay, this is very amazing. You can find this on 3D Connection website, read about it. You could go check the price, it will surprise you. It's not cheap. You can get this if your tip ranks the second best. And... We have Space Mouse Enterprise, which I absolutely adore and have been using for a very long time. This is the price for the best SolidWorks tip in the comment section. Guys, make it complex. Don't just come up with a tip that everybody knows. Do a little bit of research. It's worth the comment. Not many people do so, so your chances go higher. Just do so. The 3D Connection is the sponsor of this video. They are very generous to be shipping you these products from their headquarters. I am looking forward to reading those comments. If you're new to my channel, subscribe because if you stick around here, you get a lot of values about World of SolidWorks 3D designing. And if you're serious about SolidWorks, you should check my online course. Link on the top right corner. Best course out there. Reviews 4.9 out of 5. If you really want SolidWorks to become second nature for you, it becomes natural, you have to try my course. If it wasn't for you, ask for a refund, no questions asked. Just go to the link in the description below. You can start by watching my free webinar and do my free mini course, but after that, get the full course, trust me. Anyways, these products remain here. In two weeks time, I'm gonna check the comment section again, we'll close the polls, and then we rank the best tip in the comment section, and I will be shipping five lucky people, five great products. Thank you very much. I'll see you again.